just getting set up to do Swift Academy Road first workout aerobic conditioning. Uh, while I'm waiting here in the start pen, just wanted to make a quick remark about the Swift baseline ride. Uh, the rollout hasn't gone very well. When they first released it, the ride was banded, which negated the ability to test your individual capability. And they took care of that, but there's been a whole bunch of problems since then. They promoted sending out emails to tell you your phenotype, why those either haven't gone out or they went out with no information on them. Uh, what I would say is it's a disappointment for Swift, but don't let it discourage you from doing the Swift Academy. It's still worth it. We're going to get the benefit of the workouts and Swift will work out the problems belatedly, but they will work them out with a baseline ride. And in the meantime, let's get the benefit of the workouts. Now I should check that I'm in erg mode. Yeah, I, erg mode is on. So I'm all set to begin this workout. And it's going to be a while before it starts yet. The workout's about to begin and confirm once more that erg is on. Here we go. And the first eight minutes is warm up. And in erg mode, I'll automatically stay on target. We'll check back in just when this warm up segment ends. While I'm doing this warm up, I just wanted to mention that you can see the remaining time in an interval by checking that bar above your watts. You can see that I have five minutes and one second left in this warm up. And I can see the time remaining in any interval by checking that bar. And you can see on the display on the left hand side the list of each interval, the duration, and the power level. So I'm currently doing an eight minute warm up, then three minutes at 135, two minutes at 215, I think it says, and so on. Okay, this warm up's only almost done, another 20 seconds, and then we got a break of three minutes before the first main set starts. And we'll check back in just before that main set starts. And this is a good time to have something to drink. Well, the first set starts in 15 seconds. There's the hoop. And we'll see how we do. And just before I go into that hoop, I'll pick up my cadence makes the transition a little bit easier because it's popped up to 215 and I'll be here for two minutes and then a minute at 245 then four minutes at 215 another minute at 245 and then close this first set with two minutes at 215 again I'm in erg mode so just need to keep pedaling at a good cadence. Okay, that next banner is coming up. Effort's going to increase. And I'll just increase my cadence briefly as I hit that banner. And we'll check in near the end of the set. Just coming up to the Next one at minute burst. And pick up my cadence. 
as I hit that line. This makes the transition easier. And watching that progress bar, 49 seconds left in this interval. Notice I'm riding with quite a high cadence here, 94 RPM. When you ride with a high cadence, it puts more stress on your aerobic system. Lower cadence, more stress on your muscular endurance. Okay, 10 seconds. And now back down to 215. And you'll notice as you complete each interval, looking at the display on the left hand side, when you complete an interval successfully, there's a star next to it. You have to be within 12% of the target power. Relatively easy to do in Berg mode, but a challenge in Sim mode, which I'll try with the second set. See how I do. Just finishing up this first set of intervals, and then a five minute break. Okay, there we go. For this next set, I'm going to switch to sim mode. I'm not going to switch gears to stay on power. And adjust my cadence. And I'm also going to reduce the bias to 95%. As you can see here on the bottom of that chart, and you can see on the companion app. So I've changed the bias to 95%. Okay, got to reduce the power here as I'm playing around. Really got to focus here now to stay on target. Okay, 39 seconds before the second set starts. And remember, I'm now in sim mode. So I have to adjust my gears and my cadence myself to stay on target. Let's see how that works. Okay. You can see I'm bouncing around a bit here. Takes a while until I hit the groove. I'm staying pretty close now in sim mode. And this would be the same if I was just using the standard wheel on trainer. Some call it a dumb trainer. I don't particularly like that terminology, but it's out there. Okay. 15 seconds, I have to adjust my gears and my cadence. And I'll do that just as I hit the line. Not overcompensated. Really got to focus. I did get a star for that first interval. Okay, eight seconds. And now I have to adjust again. Just my gear and just my cadence. Well, oh. there we go. Takes a bit to find that equilibrium point of the gear and the cadence. 
Okay, I'll see you in a few secs. Just about finish this four, inches, four eight minute interval. I can tell you doing it in sim mode is a lot tougher. Requires so much more attention. But it's a good way to learn to keep even pace. Okay, switch gears and find that equilibrium. Yeah, learning to ride steady in sim mode does have real benefits. But to stay on target reliably, erg mode is sweet. Okay, a final two minutes to finish off this set. In sim mode, so far I've got all the stars. Okay, we'll check in at the end of this interval. Just about finished the second set in sim mode. There's the arch, and now to back off. And here I'm going to go back. Here I'm going to go back to erg mode. Yeah, erg mode's on. And I'm going to increase the bias, clicking on those arrows on the bottom of the interval list, and I'm going to take it up to 102 percent. Last 10 minute set of intervals coming up. And here we go. And I'm in erg mode again. No, oh, just need to crank over those pedals. I don't have to focus as much on the gearing and my cadence. So even my power output is higher for this interval set. I'm finding it easier. Okay, coming up on that one minute burst. Pick up my cadence a bit. And here we go. Okay, now another four minutes of steady state, sweet spot riding. Okay, one last supra threshold effort for one minute. Okay, now two minutes at sweet spot level. Again, I'm in erg mode. No shifting gears or changing my cadence. Trainer will keep me on target. Oh, just another 20 seconds. Anyway, if you've already done this workout, why congratulations. And if not, why? I hope watching the video will help you get through it. In any case, five more workouts for the Swift Academy Road. Just swarming down. Okay, train hard and have fun.